Marilyn Maxwell was a figure from Hollywood's golden age who was often referred to as the other Marilyn. She may not have risen to the same level of prominence as Marilyn Monroe, but she got around as much and died nearly as young and tragically. Although Marilyn was married several times over the course of her life, it seems her most prominent romance was actually an affair she carried on with Bob Hope. Join Facts First as we explore why Marilyn Maxwell was called Mrs. Bob Hope. The Marvelous Marilyn Maxwell Marilyn Maxwell was born August 3, 1921. At the time of her birth, she was named Marvel Maxwell, with Marilyn being her middle name. Her father was a farmer, and her mother was a piano teacher who seemed to have grand aspirations for her daughter. The young girl was pushed into dance practice at the age of three. During her teen years, Marilyn was able to begin a professional career working as a radio singer. From there, she was signed with MGM in 1942, becoming one of the studio's contract players. The head of MGM suggested to Marilyn she trade in her first name of Marvel for her middle name Marilyn, or perhaps more accurately, he demanded it. Marilyn began appearing in films for the studio. Also, in the later 1940s, she found continued radio success and could be heard performing alongside Bing Crosby on his program. Marilyn's Disparate Hollywood Work Marilyn appeared in 1944's Lost in a Harem. She also appeared in 1951's The Lemon Drop Kid and 1958's Rockabye Baby. Lemon Drop Kid was the film that brought the world the classic Christmas carol, Silver Bells, while the latter feature saw Marilyn appear alongside legendary comedic performer Jerry Lewis. In The Lemon Drop Kid, Silver Bells can be heard being performed by Marilyn and Bob Hope, who was also her lover in real life. Despite this handful of iconic film appearances, Marilyn Maxwell didn't have a lot of luck on the big screen. While Marilyn was married several times over the course of her life, it was her romance with comedian Bob Hope that was the most prominent one she ever held. Marilyn's work on television Marilyn could also be seen sporadically on television over the course of her career. She made two separate appearances as a singer on The Jimmy Durante Show. Meanwhile, she appeared as a guest star on The Ford Show, which was the starring vehicle of singer Tennessee Ernie Ford, and performed as a supporting cast member on the ABC series Bus Stop. Marilyn's Personal Life Marilyn had just as hard of a time making things stick as she did during her career. The actress was married three times, and none of those husbands were Bob Hope. Her first husband was a man named John Conte, a fellow star at MGM. The two married in New York City in 1944, but were divorced by 46. A few years later, Marilyn tried her hand at marriage again to even more sad results. Her second husband was a restaurant owner named Anders McIntyre. The two married in 1950, but the marriage was so tumultuous they divorced in 1951. Marilyn misses her parents' funerals. Perhaps the reason Marilyn couldn't make her marriage to Anders McIntyre work is because she was so busy performing in USO shows with Bob Hope, with whom she was also having an extramarital affair. It was Marilyn's constant USO touring that caused her to have to miss the funerals of her mother and father, who died in 1950 and 51. Marilyn's father passed away at his farm, while her mother followed suit a year later. The Birth of Matthew Marilyn Maxwell's third and final marriage was to a writer and producer named Jerry Davis. She married him in 1954. Not only did the marriage yield one son, but it also lasted for more than two years. They welcomed their son Matthew in 1956 and remained married until 1960. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Marilyn Maxwell's affair with Bob Hope. The Long-Standing Bob Hope Affair While it is certain that Marilyn Maxwell had a long-term affair going on with comedian Bob Hope, it's hard to pinpoint exactly when it began and when it ended. The comedian kept Marilyn routinely employed over the course of her career, and one can surmise that any time the two were working together, they were also sleeping together behind the scenes. Their work together had begun in the 1940s, and their most prominent work together was their series of USO shows. Marilyn's affair with Hope certainly overlapped with her marriage to second husband Anders McIntyre, and it also likely overlapped with her other two marriages. Marilyn and Bob's romance became somewhat of an open secret in the entertainment industry, and Marilyn soon found herself being referred to as Mrs. Bob Hope behind her back. The Frank Sinatra Connection 
While Marilyn's affair with Bob Hope was the most prominent of her affairs, it wasn't the only one. Marilyn Maxwell found herself romantically involved with Frank Sinatra. The affair was briefly mentioned in the made-for-TV feature Sinatra in 1992. Following their affair, Marilyn and Frank remained good friends in the years leading up to her tragic death. Marilyn loved being Rock Hudson's beard. Marilyn Maxwell was so close with famed Golden Age actor Rock Hudson, she often willingly allowed herself to be used as a beard by the actor in his efforts to convince the public he wasn't gay. As with her aforementioned relationships with Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra, this relationship with Rock Hudson lasted until the tragic end of Marilyn Maxwell's short life. Marilyn's close friends adored her to the end. Although Maxwell was loved by her close friends, there were many demons that plagued the actress over the course of her life. When she did eventually find a modicum of showbiz success, it wasn't enough for her, and she was constantly feeling as if there wasn't a place for her in the industry. Her most prominent professional work came as a result of her personal relationships, with her being forever intrinsically tied to Bob Hope. Marilyn's Battle with Alcoholism as a result of her numerous personal struggles, she found herself seeking escape through alcoholism early on. She developed a propensity for drinking at a young age, and this habit slowly worsened as a result of her personal struggles over the course of the 50s. By the 60s, she was a shell of her former self as a result of her years and years of alcohol abuse. When work began to dry up, Marilyn found solace in increased alcohol consumption, and that consumption only made the work dry up even more. From Hollywood to the Strip Club Marilyn is said to have reached her lowest point in 1967 when she could allegedly be found performing as a stripper in a burlesque show in Queens, New York. It remains uncertain how much Marilyn's Hollywood peers knew about how far the actress had fallen, though Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra, and Bing Crosby all acted as pallbearers at her funeral. Her Tragic Passing In March of 1972, Marilyn Maxwell was found dead. Her son, who was 15 years old, came home from school and found she had passed away. He called authorities, though it was far too late by the time emergency services got to the house. Her death was from an apparent heart attack. She had suffered heart issues during her later years, which were exacerbated by her alcoholism. Following her tragic 1972 passing, all the aforementioned entertainment luminaries readily jumped at the chance to act as pallbearers at her funeral. And beloved friend Rock Hudson gave a memorable eulogy and went on to take care of Marilyn's son until his coming of age. Now it's time to hear from you. What was the most surprising part of this story? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.